Okay, I was asked to comment about um, our viewer was confused about how power windows work, power locks work, and all that. I'm again I refer to the textbooks because it'll give you the basic idea that I learned over 20 years ago and still adapted until today. We have to understand one thing: whether it's power seats, power windows, the the components always involve the switches, motors, actuators, regulators, and things like that. Now, obviously, this is a power seat, okay? Meaning you use switches to move the seat forward, back. This reclines up and down. Also, some have some called lumbar support for the back, a feature that some nowadays, some cars have. So we have to understand one thing. The switch in your car for the window Okay, is a it, 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 it's a two terminal switch. It can go two positions actually, two position switch. So a window switch. First, we have to understand. Here's the window switch in your car. When we press the window, how many switches do we have? We have one, two, three, four. We have four windows. We also have the master switch where the driver is in charge of all the the windows, right? But you could go in one position going down, other position going up for each one, each window. Now, with that in mind, what do we have? We have a switch, we have a motor, we have a master switch, a window switch, B+. Now, I went over this a couple of times before, so I'm not going to rep repetition the same thing. But I'm just going to explain one thing because the viewer asked me and pictorials speak louder than words. Okay, now this motor over here, represented by M, goes through a switch, let's say. Okay, here's the switch. Goes to B, plus, as you can see. Goes to B. Plus. Other side goes to ground. Okay, so B, plus, ground. This will be an, an M. Now, when we press, let's say, the switch that I just showed you okay here's the window here's the window of your car first of all how many windows are there four windows correct two in the front two in the back how many motors four motors why don't we have eight motors why would I say that first of all here's the window the window is in the up position regardless if it's in the rear, the passenger, or the driver. We want to put the window down. So what are we doing? We want the, the window to go from up position to what? The down position. Okay? What do we use for that? A motor. Okay? And a switch. So, we're going we're gonna to hit the switch. Hold the switch. Sometimes you have an auto switch. You just hold it for one second and it does it automatic. It doesn't matter. You hold the switch down. The motor is activated. B plus, which is what? How much? 12 volts. Current goes from the battery to the switch to the motor. What happens? The window goes down. So what position? Now, where is the window? The window is what? In the down position. Okay. Here's the problem. How do we get the window back up? To what? So now we're going the reverse. We're going from down back to the up position. We just said we have four motors. And I asked you the question, why don't we have eight motors? Why did I say that? Why don't we have a separate motor to go back from the down position to the up position? And what will that do? That means you'll have four more motors. Four windows... If you need a motor for each position available, for each window, that means two motors for the front driver, two motors for the, for the front passenger, for the rear, four more. You need eight motors. That's way too much. How do we avoid that? We don't want to put more parts in the car. If we put more parts, more weight, but also more expense to the customer. Expense, a customer will have to pay more for that. What do we do? How do we get... How do we solve this problem? We made this window come down. It's hot in the car, 
right? Pastor just said, open the window. It's hot, right? We opened the window, went from the up position to the down position because of this motor. Great. Now, we put on the air conditioning. When we put on the air conditioning, passengers said, close the window. You're going to let all the cold air out, right? Okay. I'm going to close the window. What allows me to close the window and allow the window to go back up? Using one motor instead of two. Here's the answer. We flip-flop the 12 volts in the ground. And this is what this is doing through the switch. This is the motor. Here. Instead of 12 volts on this side, what are we going to do? We're going to put ground on this side, and we're going to put 12 volts on the other side. What geniuses. What's that going to do? First, in order for the window to go up to down, current flowed in this direction. Okay? Made the motor spin, let's say, counterclockwise. Now we want the window back up because we put the air conditioning on. What do we do now? We flip the 12 volts from here to here. We flip the ground from here to here. And now the current will make the, the motor spin what? In the other direction. So it's going to go this way. Count, first it was a counter... Uh, Clock, no, it was clockwise. Now it's going, going counterclockwise. So we're using the motor as a bi-directional motor. We're using this same motor to go both do, in two directions. This way and this way, which will allow us to do what? To bring down the window, bring up the window. What about this? What about this? your seat, your power seat? We go from rear to forward. Okay? What's involved? A motor. Let's forget that this is a window switch. Let's say this is the switch for your, uh, 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 your seat. Okay? Same thing. Two positions for the switch. Okay? We have to go from rear to forward. We put a motor. Same idea. Okay? Positive... 12 volts, ground, okay? So this slides forward. You're now more closer to the steering wheel. Let's say we want to go back, okay? We hit the, 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 uh, the, the switch. We hit the switch, okay? We hit the switch, this one. And we're going to go where? Back to the rear. What are we, what are we going to do? Same idea. Here, motor. We're going to put ground on this side and put 12 volts on the other side. So what's going to do? What's going to happen? The motor is going to spin in the other direction. So bi-directional motor. The switch is not bi-directional. The switch is just flipping in two different positions. Right? When you hit the switch either this way, it's going, you're going to hit the switch, press this side, or you're going to press this side. All you're doing is you're allowing 12 volts on one side of the motor, ground on the other side, or you're lying ground on one side, 12 volts on the other side, which makes the motor spin either in this direction, like we just said, or in the other direction. Same motor. We only need one motor. We don't need two motors for each action. Saves parts. This is the basis how everything works. Okay? Let's say now we have a problem. Okay? Besides the mechanics of it and all that, okay, electrical-wise, let's say... The window from the up position does not go down. Okay? Does not go down. It's hot in the car. The passenger says, open the window. It is so hot in here. Open the window, right? Doesn't work. Okay? The, the window doesn't go down. The question is, does the window go from down to up? Well, guess what? You're never going to know because the window didn't go down in the first place. How do I know if it goes back to the up position? It never went down. Why do I ask? Why is that important? Because that tells me if the motor is working. If, the, if this window does not go down and it does not go back up, then I know what's the common failure? Probably the motor. Sometimes actuaries or, or, or regulators, but we're talking electrical analysis right now. So therefore, what's the common factor? The motor. Let's say it does go in one, one direction. Let's say... 
the window goes down. Okay? Now the, the passenger says, I'm going to put on the air conditioning, close the window, close the window. It's in the down position. Guess what? doesn't go back up. Can it be the motor? No. How did it go down in the first place? We're, at, we're using one motor for two purposes, remember. So therefore, can it be the switch? Yes, it can be the switch. Can it be a regulator or a track that's, that's laid on? Yes, of course it can be. And what else? The switch, obviously. The switch can make contact in one position, not make contact in the other position. Okay? So the motor is at fault when both positions are not available. For example, let's say for this, I can, I'm trying to go from rear to forward. It's like I want to get closer to the steering wheel, correct? I'm adjusting it, okay? Question is, can the car, can the seat go from front back to rear? You won't know until you go forward and then try to go back, correct? So that's where you have to try to do analysis of... Do I have 12? I'm probably missing the 12 volts. Go for the 12 volts and say, let me measure. Do I have 12 volts coming in? Obviously, the fuse and all that. Or maybe I missed the ground or things like that. Or, like I said, or actuators or things like that. And the switch can be bad also sometimes if you don't go in two positions. But of course, first you have to go bring down the window and see if you can get it back up. So that's just a very short, quick, quick. Uh, troubleshoot and diagnostics for the viewer who asked me about how power locks work and how power doors work and the same thing same principle for all so next time when you're in your car and you're this is the button driver's side for example let's say this is the lock right i'm pulling down i'm going down in this direction going this one i'm gonna pull down the window okay the window is up here right Window is down. I go back up. Let me bring it back. Actually, this is the up position. This is the, the down position. So I, I go down and I bring down the window. Okay. Now I go to the other side of it. I said, let me bring up the window. I press which side? This side. Okay. Doesn't go back up. Can it be the switch? Yes, it can be the switch. Can it be the motor? How did it get down in the first place if the motor was bad, right? Does it can the fuse be bad? If the fuse would be bad, how did I get the window down in the first place? We don't have separate fuses for up position and down position, right? So obviously maybe the switch is at fault at that part. So like I said, I hope this video was uh, uh, um, helpful. Okay, I'm trying to make things a little simpler without schematics. Too much, too deep. Um, some people say it's too complicated, but trying to show you pictorials from the textbook called Automotive Technology. And hopefully, it, uh, go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. Please recommend the channel, please. Like I said, I will, I will go out and do hands-on. Like I said, I'm doing many other things right now related to automotive electronics. There's a demand for it. So just stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto is the channel.